really appropriately named due to the landscapes involved and the emotional up and down um, experienced by the family and the growing number of volunteers during the search for the closure of Ryan's case. Um, it was beautifully produced and perfectly designed to introduce you to Ryan and to his loving family. And I really admire the family's um, devotion to finding their missing son and can only imagine the heartache that they're facing. Um, overall, this project is very important. Um, there's tons of missing cases that just don't get the attention that they deserve. And um, I really hope that they find something, get some type of closure. The intro to this was really um, well done because it kind of set the tone for the entire documentary. Um, a very kind of somber, more serious um, emotion overall. And I thought that the beginning really set that off, especially with the um, all of the footage that they got, um, which was really beautiful footage of the like landscape and the area that they were in really set off right away just like the sheer like vastness of the area that they were trying to search and then as you watch the documentary more and more you learn more and more about his story and about what's happened since um he went missing and just they keep kind of looping back to these like beautiful shots but like you really do realize how like out kind of in the middle of nowhere it is or surrounded by like so much like just like wild nature. I thought overall um, it was really well put together and it kind of for me carried the tone the entire time. This one was a very terrifying story. I really commend the family for sharing it and giving us a hint of their suffering and impossible anxiousness because they can't solve this mystery. It was a beautiful movie, uh, uh, even though it was a terrifying story. Uh, it was very enduring and it was beautifully shot. Filmmakers did a good job at piecing this one together. Um, good on them for not trying to add too much tragedy or drama to an already tragic and dramatic story. I think it was just presented very carefully and tactfully and we got a lot of different accounts a lot of different speculation. There's a bit of suspense there. I wasn't very familiar with the story, so I thought the way it unfolded was uh, interesting and, and, and fresh to me. And of course, uh, my heart goes out to the family. That was a well done documentary and somewhat different than a normal documentary. What I found amazing is the contrast between the heart-wrenching story and the parents talking about it pretty um, cool about it, if, it, if you can say that. Uh, they try to stick to the facts and leave the emotion out, which must have been very difficult. So I think from that perspective, it stands out. Wow, it's very, very well done. Um, it's obviously a very sad story, but uh, really well executed with um, empathy and kindness and um, just um, heart-wrenching to imagine uh, something like this happening and just so little known about what really did happen. And um, I thought the filmmaker did a great job. Um, the drone footage, everything kind of built this whole world that we got pulled into and um, yeah it was really really well done. So it's always really hard to hear about a missing person's case especially when they're young and especially when it's so close to home. Um, you know it's right here in Canada and the fact that somebody can just disappear without a trace in this day and age with the technology that we have is just it makes no kind of sense to me. Um, I just, I feel for the family, I, not knowing has to be just the worst thing because I, I feel like, how can you get closure um, when you just have no information? So, you know, I think in terms of the documentary, I think that it was really, really well done. It was informative, it was respectful. And I think it was, it really captured this family's very 
tragic story in a way that I think they would be very proud of. And I'm just, I'm praying for them and I pray that they get the closure that they need. This one is, it's heartbreaking. It's, it's really, really well made. Um, and you know, now more than ever, there's so much like true crime stuff out there in the world. And um, this, it, it holds its own. It's, it's hard to kind of, you know, isolate the filmmaking from the story with this one. And like the filmmaking is just very strong. It was a really interesting choice to not, or to use um, scoring like very sparsely. Like I feel like it's only in the beginning and the end. And that really helps the reality of the situation kind of sink in. And so I felt like that, that was just a, a takeaway that I thought was really strong. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's really sad um, and really well made. I, I mean, I hope that they find Brian.